Hi, my name is Bob Bittner and I teach math here at Shasta College. And I'd like to introduce Kelly Couch. She was a student of mine. She took four classes from me. Um, I think she struggled in math, but she worked really hard and she got A's in three out of the four classes and a B in the other class. And I used to see her over in the math lab working either with a tutor or other students. Um, she attended class very regularly. She was a model student. So congratulations to Kelly for being nominated as the EOPS Student of the Year. Hi, I'm Candace Byrne. I teach English at the Tehama campus at Chester College. And I'm going to talk about Nancy Tonemaker. She's been nominated for EOPS Student of the Year. I remember when Nancy came into class the first day, she sat in a back corner and she was visibly shaking and her voice was shaking, but what was really cool about Nancy was that she acknowledged all of that. She acknowledged her nervousness. She acknowledged how long since she'd been in school. And from the very first day, she was completely game to try every strategy that we did in class. She was such a risk taker that she became a model for all of the students in the class. She became a class leader. People would go to her for advice on what they were doing to help them with her with their own writing and she ended up just to be a real star. I really respect that about Nancy. She did, never let fear stop her. She just moved right through all of her fears and it's been such a pleasure for me to see her change her career goals and change her education goals. She really does deserve to be nominated as EOPS student of the year. Nancy, I'm so grateful that you've been in my life and I'm so grateful to see you have this honor. I'm Carol Roop. I teach in the Family Studies Department. And I was meeting Charlotte when she first came to Shasta College because she enrolled in my life management class. And in that particular class, um, I recognized right away Charlotte has spunk. But spunk doesn't always just turn right into success. One of the things they had to do was to write goals for their lives. One of the goals was to complete her major in family studies. Another goal, and there were a lot of them, but another goal was to work on her habit of hoarding. And she wrote those goals, set herself up for success. I have to tell you, this semester I have Charlotte in her final fulfillment for the family studies degree. And I also have evidence that her goal to clean up her home and have her family over for dinner was met. I saw the pictures. So I want to congratulate you, Charlotte, on all your amazing accomplishments throughout the years you have been here. And I also want to congratulate you, especially today, on being selected as a finalist for the EOPS student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Dave Woodruff, and I taught uh, Vita. For, she was in my class for uh, two different math classes. She always sat up front, always a great sense of humor, always responded to questions that were uh, put forth in class, did all of her homework, and just a general all-around delight to have in class. And I recommend her highly for whatever honor she's being considered for. Hi, I'm Andrea Williams. I teach business communications at Shasta College. Sonia Moss was one of my students a year ago. In business communications, if the students want a good grade, they, add, they need to add a lot of creativity to their business letter assignments. I found that if I read Sonia's before anybody else's, whoever I read after just paled in comparison. Sonia did that good of a job. She's the kind of student who really, really wanted to learn, not just to get a grade, but to learn how to be a good writer. So congratulations, Sonia. Marvin Apps, Life Science Instructor. Uh, I'm very pleased to speak on behalf of Jennifer Jansen. Uh, a neat story uh, in terms of community college philosophy, uh, having to, uh, after setbacks in life, uh, find a new direction, uh, which uh, she did uh, pursuing a medical uh, field. Uh, in many ways, she's a nice uh, college student story in that she came in uncertain about how to be a student uh, and became one that was very good uh, with semesters that passed. Uh, one that I would call a model student. In class, Jennifer uh, was very uh, uh, diligent, very proactive, uh, 
uh, very motivated. Uh, she had a dauntless will about all kinds of challenges, including human gross dissection. I found her personally to be very friendly, very polite, very courteous. Uh, she worked well with others, understanding and being compassionate. As a result, she was well liked by peers. Uh, and, uh, and in turn, uh, lent a great deal to the harmony and productivity of all class activities. I believe she has the attitude, the aptitude, and the drive uh, to do well in the medical field. Uh, I think that she'll you know, be a real addition to wherever she goes, and I want to wish her the best of luck in all that she does. So my name is Ken Nolte. <clears throat> I teach natural resources here at Shasta College and Ryan Salas has been in my natural resources program for a few years. Right now I think he's actually finishing up general ed so I haven't had him in a class this year but prior to that um, he's always been again one of my outstanding students always involved in classes always in class on time but I guess the thing probably that I really want to focus on is how involved he continues to be with the natural resources club even though he's not in our classes in this building as much as he has been, he's still been very active in the club, holding officer positions. He's one of the students that I know is always at every activity that we do, all volunteer activities that the club does. And so, again, he continues to be really active in our program. And he also um, just was uh, awarded uh, one of our Student of the Year, the Natural Resources Student of the Year. So. I guess that's probably good support on how active he is overall with um, you know, his interests and his major and, and in our program. So I just want to certainly congratulate Ryan for making it uh, as a finalist for Student of the Year from Shasta College. Hi, I'm Leanne Westfall and I'm with the College Connection Program and I'm an adjunct faculty in the Humanities Department. It is with extreme pleasure I get to tell Katie Brock thank you for becoming a part of my teaching world. Katie is a student who came to the College Connection program at the end of her junior year. Uh, she might be one of the most organized students I've ever met. She has a plan, she has a vision, and she has the personality to go with it. Um, she's one of those students that as a teacher it's a rare opportunity to have that person in your life and uh, I feel close to Katie more so than many students I've had in the past. She always comes by with her smile, she keeps me informed, and I know whatever her dreams are, they'll come true. She knows how to seek help, and that is probably why she was chosen to be one of the finalists in the EOPS Student of the Year. Congratulations, Katie. Hi, I'm Lamone Waite. I'm here to talk about uh, Breanne Sullivan, and uh, Breanne just continues to impress me um, on a daily basis. Uh, when I first met Brianne, um, she uh, didn't always take my directions like I intended them to be taken, and so we had some we have some inside jokes laughing about um, what's three feet tall. <laughs> but um, what I am really going to miss about Brianne is the fact that she uh, really has taken ownership of our program. She's my right arm. She's always checking on things and worrying that things are g getting done on a, on when they need to be done and uh, just is uh, really taking a leadership role in our department. So, Brianne, I want to congratulate you on being a finalist for the EOPS scholarship, and I wish you the best at Humboldt State. Hi, I'm Morgan Hannaford. I teach biology classes at Shasta College. Uh, I had Sukwinder Judy in my biology one and zoology class last fall, and uh, I think I spent more time with him than I did my own family uh, because of the two heavily involved lab classes. I also know that Sequinder has done very well in his chemistry and physics classes as well. So I want to congratulate Sequinder Judy on being a nominated EOPS Student of the Year. Hi, my name is Rosie Gilbert Aarons. I'm a counselor here at the Tama campus. Uh, I'm also a coordinator, co-coordinator for the Puente program and I teach um, student classes in that program. It's my honor and privilege today to introduce Christina Sane. Um, Christina Sane is one of our superstars here at the Tama campus. Um, she started um, very nervous and um, with a lot of self-doubts and um, it's been an honor to watch her grow and blossom, um, first having her in the classroom and then having the ability to counsel her um, in the OPS 
and as a regular um, counselee. Um, she manages to handle her incredible challenges. Um, she sees them as gifts and, and has a positive outlook on everything that she faces with on a daily basis and uh, it's pretty incredible um, if you, knowing her story. Um, I'm very proud of you Christina and um, congratulations. Um, you rock.